Hey YouTube, welcome to another layout update. I know it's been quite a while since I've done my last one, so I'm going to go ahead and do one right now because I've got a lot of messages from people saying where am I and if I'm still alive. So first things off is, you can see I've got a BNSF train sitting there, and it's not moving. But that's partially because there's no power to the track. And I've got this York Durham train running around. And I've finally got a digital, digital command control. I decided to get the NCE one, it's a lot easier to use and a lot more friendly. Rather than getting tracks crap and what other not. Um, some of the other things that have changed, and I've gotten help from Sean, or you guys will know him as Awesome Railfan, is I finally got that second inner track completely done and it goes all the way down to there and I've actually redone that entire section right in this area to run the trains and the three axles over it a lot easier and I've also done the same over in that corner because I had the same problem with trains going down it as well but now I've encountered a new problem is that just right at the last minute the engine will just slightly jump and short at the track so I gotta figure out what's wrong there. Um, other things that have slightly changed is I've started the yard, as you can see, and it's not going to be its permanent spot because, unfortunately, it's supposed to be a five-yard track, including a scale track and a yard. Well, sorry, a yard office. So I'm gonna have to go to this point and pull it back completely. So those two junctions are end to end. And some other stuff that are slightly different, other than the rolling stock that I have on the layout, is I've actually got some work done on not that, but these two cars, these two passenger cars. I've added windows to the rear car and. I've actually added on brass to the very end. Um, one thing that I did do to the reefer car was I added KD number 5s as well as added KD number 5s to that Canadian Pacific car behind the York Dream train. But yeah, other than that, not much else has changed. I mean, I've done a bit of work on the passenger car. Sorry, not the passenger car, the auto rack. Um, what I've done is I've swapped out for metal wheels. And I've also put on KD number 5s instead of the plastic whisker ones. But other than that, not much. So I hope you guys enjoyed the short update. I should have more done in the near future. And I'm predicting that at this rate that I keep doing this, I'm going to have the entire track, track laid in the end of February, if not a little later. Other than that, stay tuned and enjoy.